On Thursday, we have two companies going public. The first is Berry Plastics. It's a really big one at 500 million. It's also another deal out of Apollo. And Francis, you don't like this one because Apollo is only looking out for themselves and not for the IPO investor, right? Yeah, have they ever done anything else? <laughs> anyway, th this is a large consumer plastics company. It's been in business 30 years. Um, its margins, gross margins are seven, 17 percent. That's really low. Um, they've been paying about the same amount of revenue and interest as they've had in operating earnings. And if you uh, if you take if you look at the uh, if you take away the, the hard book value, they have about a minus three billion dollars in in uh, in tangible book value. It's really really over leveraged. And I just don't see how, where their, where their interest payments are about equal to their operating earnings, how they can ever, ever make a dent in their, uh, in their debt. And uh, even, even after the offering, uh, the book value would be 300, minus 337 million. So I, I very seldom see something as debt laden as this. Well, of course, you would see it from Apollo naturally. So um, I, I just don't see how they can grow, grow their way out of it. I mean, the, the, the business they're in is it's a very uninteresting, low margin business. Their debt load is high. And maybe once in a while to make some money, but uh, in general, I, I don't see them being exceedingly profitable down the road. So I would avoid that one. Okay, and then also on Thursday we have Javelin Mortgage. It's another REIT offering, and you're saying, you know what? There's some better established REITs out there. Why go with the startup? Yeah, exactly. Um, what these people, what they want to do is is borrow short, uh, lend, lend longer in the mortgage environment. What we do is buy collateralized debt mortgage obligations. The the, the leader in the field is Annaly Capital. They've been around a long time and, and they do secondaries and currently they're paying uh, about 11 percent. And it's, as long as the yield curve goes up where the short term rates are lower than the longer term rates, the, those kind of companies are OK. The risk, of course, is, is that if and when the short term rates go up and if you ever have an inverted yield company, those companies will go out of business. But you have a lot of companies that that uh, are seasoned, that already pay dividend. Um, this is a little hundred thirty million dollar deal. Why, why go with a company like this that has no track record? Okay, folks, if you're looking for IPOs to invest in, don't look at the ones that are coming out on Thursday. This market has fewer players. We're in coming it. into a Monday where we're going to enter a new stage. It's a stock picker's market. Welcome to the five dumbest things. Apple reported earnings.